T-minus five minutes and counting. And Jim, since they are Mass counting, transfer internal. I'd like to transfer get a, internal. a final thought from you as we get ready to enter these final few minutes of the launch. Well, this is, this is what it's all about. Uh, we train for this. We train for it hard. Uh, full confidence in the team, and I wish them the best of luck. So let's uh, sit back and, and let the system do what it's designed to do and the people do what they're programmed to do, so to speak. All right, Jim, thanks, and we'll be back with you after launch. And at this point, we want to hand the program over to Mike Miller in the Mission Director Center to let you listen in to the final minutes of launch without interruption. He and today's uh, telemetry engineer, Steve Agid, will then talk us through the key milestones that come after liftoff. And Jim and I will be back with you after fairing separation for much more as we track this historic flight of the Delta IV Heavy Rocket. For now, let's hand it over to Mike Miller in the Mission Director Center. This is Delta Launch Control at T minus four minutes and three seconds and counting. Vehicle power is been turned over minutes. internal at T minus five. ATC3, MAPS vehicle ordinance arm. Arming. We just completed FPSS arming for vehicle one ordinance. And two armed. Center CBC, SNA armed. Vehicle ordnance armed. Minus 212 seconds. Start CBC propellant securing. Minus 194 seconds. Start CBC pre-press. CBC lock secure. Minus 187 seconds. CBC pre-presses are purges on. Next uh, minute we will secure CBC propellants. CBC LH2 secure. And verify CBC hydraulic pressurization at T minus two minutes. CBC locks at flight pressure and flight level. Next key milestone is at uh, T minus one minute and thirty seconds, which ends the rapid recycle opportunity. Minus one hundred twenty seconds. TPA script running. Second stage lock securing started. Hydraulic pressure at four thousand. CBC LH two at flight pressure and flight level. Minus 90 seconds. Minus 80 seconds. Second stage LH2 securing started. Second stage lock secure at flight level. RCO, report range, go for launch. Lock CSC range secure. Launch conductor, launch director, you have a go for launch. Roger, go for launch. We have secured final permission for launch. Minus 60 seconds. Into the start box, go. Minus 50. Minus 45. Launch enable, enable. GE main power off. Main power off. Second stage LH2 secure at flight level. Minus 30. Green board. Minus 25. Light lock in. Minus 15. Igniter's 14. Armor. 13. Trophy ignition. 12. 11. 10. 9. 9 8. 8 7, 7, 7. 6. 6. 5. 4. 4 3. 2. 2 
one, zero, plus one. Let's go. Let's go. For the first Three, flight of the Delta four, IV heavy rocket. Five, launch from New York, six, partnership, seven, space eight, access. Eight, the United nine, States Air Force. Seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Plus thirty. Personnel reports at loop four for plus one bus carry. Plus fifty five. Plus one minute. Plus one minute, 19 plus seconds. One minute, 21 seconds. We've obviously had a successful liftoff. The first Delta 24 launch vehicle. All systems functioning as required. Max Q has just been passed. T plus two minutes and 23 seconds. Both port and starboard CBCs will throttle to 58 percent thrust in preparation for strap on jettison. Flight proceeding nominal. Each CBC engine consumes approximately one ton of propellant a second. Three minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Approaching CBC starboard port, throttle back. Three minutes, 40 seconds, shortly we'll be going to the partial thrust levels on the port and starboard vehicle. Okay, partial thrust and level on all vehicles. Chamber pressure is dropping on the port and starboard as expected. And we can see a positive indication of a successful strap-on separation. Major milestone just reached. First for the Delta. Okay, core vehicle now powering up to full thrust level. We'll remain on this uh, configuration for the next minute of powered flight. Successful jettison of both port and starboard CBCs. Four minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Core CBC running at 100%. At this time, about 54.8 nautical miles in altitude, 7,963 knots as our speed, and 171.6 miles nautical miles downrange. Four minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Main engine cutoff of the 
Encore CBC will happen in approximately 32 seconds. Five minutes, five seconds into the flight. Standing by to go to the partial thrust level. Okay, partial thrust level has been commanded into the core vehicle as we prepare for staging. Stage separation to occur in 10 seconds. Okay, booster solid rocket motor ignition has been passed. SR K12 step 